G'day guys, Benji here. Today we will be looking at a very exciting company called IOU Pay, whose share price has absolutely exploded, going up 185% in just one week. So who are IOU Pay? Why is their stock price going so crazy? Are they the next Afterpay? Are they the next Zippay? Is it too late to buy in? We're gonna be looking at that in this video. And for those of you who are time poor, I've broken down the video into timestamps below so you can skip ahead to the part you wanna watch. Otherwise, please enjoy. So IOU Pay is a financial technology and e-commerce software and service provider. And what makes IOU Pay so unique when compared to other ASX listed fintech companies is their strong geographical focus on the Southeast Asian region. Now, for those who are unaware, Southeast Asia is a region including countries like Indonesia, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, and others with a staggering population of more than 655 million people across the region. Now, this is huge because Southeast Asia is a rapidly growing region, both population-wise and economically, meaning there is a heap of opportunity to be taken advantage of by focusing on and expanding into this area. IOU Pay says that their goal is to be one of the leading digital transaction processes in the booming cashless economies of Southeast Asia. And what really separates IOU Pay from buy now, pay later companies like Afterpay is that IOU isn't simply just a buy now, pay later, it actually provides mobile banking services, buy now, pay later services, and digital payment services as well. So I guess in some ways, IOU could actually be bigger than a company like Afterpay, and operating in the region of Southeast Asia means IOU has some crazy potential if they can just execute it right. And there's big emphasis on if there. And just today, at the time of recording, and it's the reason I'm re-recording this video, IOU Pay has actually gone into trading halt, pending an announcement of a capital raising, meaning more cash for investment and expansion. And I'm in quite a few of these Facebook groups, and a lot of people are feeling very doom and gloom about this cash raise, capital raise. However, I don't actually see it as such a bad thing. In fact, it's actually quite smart to capital raise when the share price is so high, as they can raise more money this way. All right, so what's so great about South Southeast Asia, why is IOU going after them so hard? And according to a report collaborated by Google and others, the region is rapidly growing its internet user base with 100 million new internet users being added between 2015 and 2019, most of these accessing the internet through mobile phones, which is important for a company like IOU Pay, who offers mobile banking services and applications through mobile phone use. With Southeast Asia's internet economy hitting $100 billion in 2019 and forecasted to triple by 2025, it's actually not that hard to see just how much opportunity there is in this region for a fintech company like IOU Pay. And the potential isn't limited to just the internet itself. Digital finance is a huge area of opportunity in Southeast Asia, with five key financial services identified as ripe for transformation. Not my words, those are the words of IOU Pay, they say it's ripe, with digital payments and remittance being especially important to IOU Pay. Also, we see here that 98 million Southeast Asians being underbanked and the remaining 198 million being unbanked, meaning they don't even own a bank account. So millions of people face these large funding gaps in the Southeast Asia region, and IOU, I think, is actually quite well positioned to take advantage of the shortcomings in the banking sector. All right, so I wanna quickly run through the IOU Pay financials on this nice little infograph, I guess you could call it. And uh, we're gonna be looking through the December 2020 quarterly report for this information and the business activity update. And this actually brought some pretty exciting news and highlights for the company. Specifically, we can see the successful acquisition of Malaysian money lending license, and that's required to operate the buy now, pay later product services, meaning they're actually now licensed to provide buy now, pay laters to the large and growing country of Malaysia. Also, their mobile banking revenue is up 85% for the quarter, which I actually think is quite promising. Now, taking a look at IOU Pay's cash flow report, we can see that they reported $2.1 million in receipts from customers in the December 2020 quarter, and they are net cash flow positive at $8.5 million, mainly due to the $10.5 million of proceeds from the issue of equity securities. All in all, nothing too crazy going on with their financials, which isn't that surprising, given that they're still a growing company with a lot of potential in the future. Now, what you've all been waiting for, 
Should you buy IOU pay? Is it too late to buy? Can I experience the same sort of growth that I did with Afterpay, ZipPay? And these are all pretty vague questions, but uh, let's jump into that. Now, I've seen a lot of people asking themselves, is it a good idea to buy IOU pay? Well, I have to say yes, it actually is a good idea in a way the company has huge potential and is targeting an opportunity rich geographical region with a future oriented business model. Now, whether you should buy it at the current price is a whole other matter. So this is why I think maybe you should hold off from buying it. So it's currently sitting at a price of 70 cents at the time of recording this video. And to be honest, I'm a little bit worried about buying in too high. The price does seem a little overpriced for me given how weak their fundamentals actually are. And if it does drop enough, however, I might consider buying back in if the company comes out with some groundbreaking news. You know, I think that buying a small parcel for a long-term hold isn't actually that bad of an idea. It gives you exposure to a region you might not otherwise have had. So anecdotally speaking, I've had a few mates come to me. My dad actually came to me as well. He said, should I buy IOU pay? Do you recommend it for my portfolio? And to be honest, I would say unless you have a very, very high risk tolerance and you're happy to just chase some momentum, chase some dumb money, I don't know if I could honestly recommend this stock in good conscience just given how risky it's likely going to be and how much of a bumpy ride we're probably going to see over the next coming years in saying that their growth prospects still do look very promising so invest at your own risk and I also just want to say, this is just my opinion. Just my opinion. Please do your own research. It's not financial advice. Your own research is always very important. And let me know what you guys think about IOU pay in the comments below. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Are you buying? Are you selling? Um, personally, I feel quite neutral on this. I could see it either going through the roof, absolutely to the moon, or actually quite the opposite. I don't really see much in between. I think it'll either plummet and have a major correction or really we're gonna see some rockets going off. If you guys did enjoy, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. It really goes a long way. These videos take ages to make, so it motivates me to keep pumping out the content. Uh, as always, I appreciate your support and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.